yeah so you already discussed about the timer concepts and io port concepts with our microcontroller and let's talk about the serial communication feature how you people can establish this serial communication with your 8051 microcontroller <coughs> Okay, so this serial communication, how it will help for us. So whenever you people want to communicate with PCs or modules or uh, like any GSM, GPS, you people are looking for any communication device. So which supports your uh, 8051 communication with the help of uh, RS232 communication. And whenever you want to establish the serial communication with your peripherals, so what way you can start our programming and what way the device make your physical communication between two devices. So generally whenever we are looking about communication so communication means so i want to make <coughs> i want to my sh uh, share my data between two devices so if any form so i want to transfer my data from device one to device two or device two to device one okay so but in communication our people will follow with a different terminology so whenever you are looking to share your data between two devices so we should be called as transmitter and other side device which is called as receiver Suppose if the device is called, so transmitting your information, which is vice versa. Okay, so you people are sharing data between like a terminology with the uh, transmitters and receivers. And here, whenever you want to make establish a serial communication or parallel communication between two devices, so you people have to follow particular protocols. Okay, so this protocol is also very important towards your communication and how the data will transfer from transmitter to receiver or receiver to transmitter which is in the form of two types which is serial and parallel so what way you can define your serial communication what way you can define your parallel communication serial communication means you are transferring your data bit by bit <coughs> so whenever you are looking to transmit your data which should be transferred bit by bit and whenever you are looking to send the information through parallel which is going to send group of bits at a time so this group of bits means so how i can send this group of bits at a time so you people need to use so many physical lines between two devices so that's what nowadays the people are going to prefer this serial communication rather than parallel so for all short distances so that too if you take any communication either serial or parallel which are going our ultimate aim is to share the data between two devices so and which is supporting for physical and wired level and whenever you are looking for wireless communications there is a different method by using modulation techniques and as well as through so many wireless modules are available in the market so you people can make wireless communications with a different style whenever you are looking this serial and parallel communications so there is a related protocols in the serial communication and as well as for parallel communication also there is a related protocols and coming to serial protocol serial communication which are supported with standard protocols in our communication one is UART and other one is USART and the next one is I2C and next one is SPI and other one is CAN and next one is USB so these are the standard protocols are available to support your serial communication so coming to this UART and USART which are going to use for the device for basic purposes so that too which is not available in the advanced electronic devices nowadays and coming to this i2c and spi which are mostly used in automobile sector so because this i2c and spi which are supported for intercommunication systems okay and coming to can protocols also which is mostly used in industries and as well as auto automobile sector and communication co coming to this usb protocol which is most and widely used in all consumer electronics because nowadays if you want to communicate any electronic device with another electronic device you need one usb port usb communication port compulsory so that's what the serial protocol advancements towards uart i2c spi can usb so every protocol has its own data frame so in protocols so generally protocol how can you define which is a combination of or which is a set of rules and regulations so set of rules and regulations means so what way the people are going to send your data from transmitter to receiver or receiver to transmitter so that rules will be involved for every protocol here so coming to your basic UART which is going to send your information between start and stop bits so in between start and stop bits you people are going to share your data between two electronic devices so this is a simple data frame followed by your UART protocol 
and coming to usert which is not followed any start and stop which is sends like a data in a packets form but coming to your 8051 microcontroller which is supporting serial communication with uert protocol so this is the only basic protocol available in our basic microcontroller and once you people are learning advanced microcontrollers then you will find all these additional protocols like i2c spi can usb so all these are available in our advanced microcontrollers like arm32 arm32 bit devices and cortex devices so if you go for advanced devices then you will find all these protocols also in build but coming to your 8051 which is supporting this serial communication with uert protocol only and what is your uert protocol data frame which is going to send your data between start and stop bits so that is most important for us so in basic 8051 microcontroller this is the only uert protocol is available for you and how you people will identify the device is following which protocol whether it is following uert protocol or it is following i2c or it is following spi or it is following can or it is following usb so for every protocol there is a related physical lines in the device physical lines means so you people have to take care of the physical lines from your device so coming to this uert protocol so you people will find the two physical lines which is rhd and txt from your microcontroller pin diagram so once if these two pins are available in the device which will supports basic serial communication with uert protocol and now if you, you people are finding suppose i2c protocol inbuilt for your device then you can find the pins sda and acl so which is serial data line and serial clock line and if the device is supporting spi protocol you people will find the physical lines from your device mosi and miso which stands for master out slave in and master in slave out and coming to can protocol if you are following the device follows can protocol you people will find the lines can h and can l and once the device is supporting usb communication then you people will find the physical lines d plus and d minus so these are the physical lines if the present in your pin diagram of microcontroller then okay you can tell that the device is supporting the related protocol so this is a simple identification of device the device is following which protocol actually if it is following uert you people will find these two lines if the device is following i2c it will, you will you people will find these two lines and if the device is following spi which is supporting mosi and miso pins and if the device follows can protocol you will find can h and can l if the device is following usb protocol you people will find d plus and d minus so this is the <coughs> best way to identify the device is supporting which protocol actually so this is the physical identification from your microcontrollers the device is supporting which protocol and coming to parallel communication so generally which protocols in the market which are tcp ip so for the best example for your parallel communication which is internet protocol so from this once you have this internet protocol in the device so then you people will find the related pins for your lan support communication so but coming to your basic controllers which are supporting only this basic serial communication so whenever you are looking to communicate with external device then you people have to approach this rhd and txt pins and now now the microcontroller which is supporting this rhd and txt pins at the pin numbers p3.0 and p3.1 from your 11 uh, 10 and 11 pins from your microcontroller so these are the two pins available in your microcontroller which are supported to serial communication purpose and whenever you want to establish serial communication with your microcontroller so you people have to follow some programming methods and you people have to make some registers programming so which registers are depending this serial communication which is scon and sbuf so these are the two registers two sfr registers which will affect your serial communication programming so once you people are good with this scon register and sbuf register it is easy to communicate with any peripheral through uert communication and so once you are looking to communicate microcontroller with other peripherals from other peripheral device also what you are expecting the same rhd and txt pins so if the device having rhd and txt pins it is possible to communicate with microcontroller easily if the device is not supporting this rhd and txt pins so which is not possible to communicate with your microcontroller okay suppose you need this usb communication then from your microcontroller i am expecting this d plus and d minus if the device is not supporting this d plus and d minus pins then it is not possible to make usb communication with the devices okay so now coming to your microcontroller which is supporting these two lines so i am approaching only basic serial communication 
with your 8051 microcontroller. Thank you.